graph linear equations. Question here is, graph each of the following using table of values. Part A is y equals to minus half x minus 1 and B is y equals to 2 over 3x plus 1. I am Anil Kumar and we are discussing how to sketch graph of linear equations. Well, to start with, let me tell you that preferred method of graphing such equations is slope and intercept form, which we will discuss in the next video. In this particular case, since we are told to use table of values, we have no option but to use table of values. Now, how to use table of values when the equation has fractions? That is what we learn in this video. So let's make a table. As you know, whenever you're making table of values, you can select any value for x. And for that value of x, you need to calculate the y value. Our equation is y equals to minus half x minus 1. Now in this case, the best value of x is 0. So let's use 0 as x. In that case, y will be minus half times 0 minus 1. That means minus 1, right? So that's a good value. Now, avoid fractions. That's the whole idea. Other value for x could be 2, right? So if I take 2 as my x value, in that case, half of 2 is 1, right? And minus half of 2 will be minus 1 and therefore we'll get minus 1 minus 1 as minus 2. Let me show you here. So we have half of we are taking x value as 2 minus 1. Now 2 divided by 2 is 1 right so we get minus 1 minus 1 which is minus 2. So that's the whole idea. Select the values which are convenient and which gives you good points to plot. You could have selected minus 2 also, right? So let's say minus 2. In that case, y will be, if I write x as minus 2, minus times minus is plus, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 minus 1 will give me 0, right? So these are good points to plot our line. So we get the coordinate points which are 0 minus 1. So let me write them down here 0 minus 1 and then we have 2 minus 2 and minus 2 0 0 minus 1 that means 0 minus 1 this is our y-intercept this point is on the y-axis the next point is 2 minus 2 that means here right and then we have minus 2 0 so minus 2 and 0. This is our x-intercept since the point lies on the x-axis. Now we can join these points and get a straight line to represent the given equation. So that is how we can actually graph linear equation when given in fraction form using table of values. Right Now y equals to 2 over 3x plus 1. Let this be a practice question for you, right? So you can practice with the help of this question. Well, let's look into the x values which you should use. We have y and x, x and y here. So x values, as I said, good values, x equals to 0. That will lead to 1. The other values could be plus and minus 3. Do you see that? Same as the denominator. So that we get rid of fractions. So minus 3 and plus 3 are good values to choose. Right? So make a table and then plot your points on the graph to get the graph of this linear equation. I hope that will help you to understand this process better. Thank you and all the best.